it's your talk of blade and you know as they say they will be right back and if the adjustment bureau decides they want to try to fuck around with Barua, well they try and guess what they used a phone uh, I wake up early in the morning, like maybe 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, something like that. And I can force myself to go back to sleep. But this morning I woke up, my son was still woke. It was like 5 o'clock, he was still woke. So I, I turn around and force myself to go back to sleep. I wake up again, it's like maybe close to 6. He's still woke, and I say, damn, you're still woke? But sometimes, you know, my son, he does that, you know. I don't know if they're keeping him woke or if he's doing it on his own. But when we were in Florida, me and my son, we learned to sleep in ships because we found out, you know, through targeted individual that they can come in your house when you're not home. They can also come in your house while you sleep. I also found out they can put your ass to sleep and then come in your house. And uh, we also found certain things in our house that did not belong to us. So we knew they had been in our house, so me and my son would go to the store together, you know, and uh, we had to stop that. Either I would go to the store or my son would go to the store. You know, my back was in uh, okay condition, really good condition when I was in Florida because uh, someone had jumped my son at Donahue. And uh, he had an AK around his neck, you know, like uh, it was a necklace. Someone had bought it for him and said AK. They didn't like it. They didn't like his little vest he wore either. So they jumped out the car like jump out boys. And I know, you know, the CIA sent these bitches. They got paid to jump my son. And so my son, he, he came in and he told us so fast what happened. He hurried up and grabbed a knife. And he was running to get it. Now my son, Adana, is at least 6'4". He has these long ass legs. I'm 5'6". My legs are not that long. But he ran out the house and I ran out right behind him. So see, my back, I had no problems at all with my back in Florida. I just had problems with them fucking around in people's heads. Sinning perps. So now, as I said, it says, a sense of calling forth a passage of writing. But anyway, the word call, like a man call. And they said that it's like a Manjurian candidate. You know, they use the telephone. So, uh, when, just when I was getting ready to, you know, do the next video, my son got a call. Mm -hmm. How about that? He was asleep. And um, he woke up to, like, get the call or something, but he missed the call. And uh, he said he didn't know who it was. The number, he did not um, know that number. So he was not trying to call it back. So he turned over to go back to sleep. And I was just going to wait for him to go to sleep. And then uh, he got another call. And that was a friend of his. See, they can go into any of our minds. And have us. To. Um, to think. Oh, let me call this person at this time. They've even done me like that. You know, oh, let me call Amy at this time. Now, Amy, she answers my call. She say, look, I'm on a call with you. Woo, 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 woo. Let me call you right back. It was only um, an uh, interruption. They used me to interrupt whatever Amy was talking about, whom she, whoever she was talking to. They used me as an interruption. So maybe three or four hours later, Amy, she gets back at me and she tells me all the shit that she was doing, you know. And I told her, I said, yeah, they put that in my mind to call you. I said, because I didn't even think, uh, you know, like, when I call Amy, it's because I found something or I'm thinking of something. But uh, it wasn't even like that, you know. I was just doing this scene. And then my mind said, call Amy. They picked up my phone and called, like, I, they were using uh, the magnets on me. And that was just an interruption to interrupt Amy. So me and Amy, we you know, we talked about that for a while. And then, you know, we got off the phone because it was nothing that I was calling her for. I even let her know that. And I let her know that they had stirred me up to do that. You see. So now they send in uh, someone to call my son. However, the person, the second person that called my son, uh, well... I feel, 
you know, I feel sorry to see a towel who has to take care of themselves. You know, she's pink-skinned, but she's a Mexican. And I don't too much like Mexicans. That's why my son keeps her away, but I know her, you know. And I know the things that she's going through. So, not now. I told my son, not now. I said, but... Uh, you know, invite her over. She can come. She's she's Mexican. She can come over. I don't know. Are they using her? I don't know. But I just know the condition she's in. And I've been knowing her for like three years. And now she takes care of herself. She she works her ass off to pay her rent. And I think she's maybe 17 now. You know? I feel so sorry for her that she had to grow up so fast. You know, my children had to grow up fast too. And as these children are growing up fast, they're being stuck like frozen in the mind because they have been so terrorized, you know, by the terrorists. You know, and they do not know that they are targets. And their parents don't know that they are targets. And the parents, they do stupid shit. And the the child just can cannot go go on with that parent, so she's taking care of herself, and uh, she's been taking care of herself now for two years. Well, she was taking care of herself longer than two years, but when I met her, you know, she was with her mom when I met her, and she was kind of like taking care of herself then, but she was still with her mom. But she had to cut her mom loose. Her mom tried to get her to do the same drugs her mom was doing. Who the fuck does that? Someone under mind control. So now she takes care of herself. But anyway, they had her to call my son. And right now she's going through some, you know, just emotional stuff. You know, like I say, she's only about 16 or 17 years old. And she had to grow up. So now she's doing a lot of grown-up stuff. And... And she's a female, so, you know, it, um, so I just told my son, uh, uh you know, just, if she, if she needs you, uh, just someone to talk to, but I did tell my son, don't bring her back here, no girlfriend, no. And my, <laughs> my son does not look at her like that, he says, so for one thing, she's too tiny, you know. So it would make him look like, you know, because he, he stands like six feet. And she's really, really tiny. She's not even four feet. I don't think he's a walking next to her would make him feel like he is a pedophile. You know, because he did hear Malcolm X um, say that, um, you know, you are supposed to get uh, your female. Uh, I forget his exact words. But what he was saying is, you know, don't get a female that's too short way 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 too short or one that's way 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 too tall because if you get a female well you know he didn't say this but all of us that was looking we all came to the conclusion if you get a female and you stand six four and she stands four feet and you're walking down the street you look like a pedophile you really do may not be a pedophile but you look like a pedophile so, as I said, you know, that was a phone call, mentoring, candidate type of shit. And they're fucking around with her, too. So, it's as though they summoned my son to go and help her out. But I was in agreement for my son to go and help her out. No, I was dealing with this word. But this word comes from... So the word sight will come from here. It also means to move about, to call and command. Plus, it is also a chemical suffix of A-S-E. So this word to me, you know, like Chinese, Japanese, that's what it looks like, knees. So since this word means to command and call i went to uh well first i went here see i changed the vowels i have not read any of it yet but it uh goes into indigo chromo kinesis 
Let's go to the English translation. Kanese. I'm trying to see if it's Japanese, Chinese. What the fuck? Huh. It is in a German Wikipedia. So we know now that this word has something to do with mind control. Anytime you see German, I don't give a fuck. It's mind control. Also named E-C-K. Put an N in front of that and you will get neck. See the N? And you will get neck. And the man said that uh, they found a way to uh, make uh, a simulated universe. And then they tied it at the neck. And right here, it is pseudo-scientific. That means it's not even real. It's some fake as scientific shit. And in order to have scientific whatever and to get your income, you see the CI? In order to get your income, you have to have a targeted individual. It is also esoteric oriented. Oriented to me is oriental, like I said, some kind of Vietnamese, Japanese, Chinese, some kind of shit because of the knees. So now it's esoteric. That means this shit, uh, only a few of them know it. When you read it, um, you will know what it's talking about. They was reading it and they actually could not comprehend much of what it was talking about. But in esoteric, it's also R-I-C. That goes along with America and the hiding shit. You know, and also the income and targeted individual. And this E R I C, Eric Holder, he's also esoteric. He's so esoteric he doesn't even know his ass is esoteric. So English translation, Bab. Dot L A, and it's, it's Bab because I'm going to say this shit is some Babylonian bullshit. You know English, it's Babylonian bullshit. So now I have German and English together. This is a translation for Kinese in the free German English dictionary and many other English translations. Didn't they say, tell you that knees was those tangle eyed motherfuckers? Kinese. And um, this is not coming into there. You go. No, no, this this damn computer is just fucked up. If you ask me, it's like a fucked up ass man. Is be um can be um kind sin or something. This words take me back to the Kinsey Institute, and here they are with numbers thirty two, twenty nine. What is it talking about? Ah. Uh, is in a different language. Look what comes behind them. See, so I know this word has something to do with some Asians. And it was the Asians. Look at that big ass fat face. It was the Asians that had the two headed baby. That's because they're playing games with people's DNA. Now you get back to the web. And let's go here, see what they see. Because this word also looks like telekinesis to me, you know. Now, kinesis is a certain translating, translation is missing here. Is a certain translation missing here? That is a question. Let us know or submit your own translation. Suggest new German to English translation. So I guess they don't actually have a translation for the word. And that was just a dictionary, but the word to me looks like this. See, K-I-N-E-S-I-S. -S. Telekinesis is the psychic ability to moving objects. Didn't the word say to move about? With the mind. This video is telekinesis for beginners and will teach you how to do telekinesis and move things with your fucking mind. Here they go, psychokinesis. Because they're fucking around in our minds. 
and that word came from this stupid shit I was studying yesterday. AKT. Kines. An activity. Activity is the targeted individual while they use the internet technology in our minds. Also, here they had 1880, which still gives you the 88. And then yesterday, um, now I know what year Hitler was born. I will remember forever. It had 1889. My daughter was born in 19. 88. Same numbers as Hitler, just in a different spot. 1988 and 1889. The prophet was born 1886. You turn the six upside down, you will get nine. Hmm. These people think they can fool me. You know, you can fool some of the people some of the time. But you can't fool all the people all the time. Everyone's not going to go for that telekinesis bullshit. Everyone's not going to go for you putting stupid shit in our minds. You know, because I know whom I am. So, I knew stupid shit was going on. Psychokinesis. This is a Greek word meaning mind and movement. To move your essay wrong and to troll all up in your mind, to take control of your mind. Here, they even have a band. Because for them, they're everywhere. I mean, every word I ever look up, every fucking word I look up, there is a band. Because it is the music also. They will keep us under mind control. When we, before the pink man came and we start letting the pink man pay us to sing and dance and all this stupid shit. None of this shit was going on, not like this. They had us under neurolinguistic programming. This is different. As they say, they took the chains off our bodies and put it on our minds. And you will not even know that the chains are on your mind. Now, these are the band members of tele telekinesis. What is that? What is she? And these are the people who make bombs and shit. And they're supposed to be the smartest of all of us. She used to one time be melanated. But then she, uh, the Hittites came. And uh, they uh, begin to murder us and rape us, and some just gave up and said, "Okay, we will join onto you." They just gave up, and when you give up, you abdicate your melanin, and that is what happened. She abdicated her melanin, and abdicate means to put away, put out. Don't want to have anything to do with you. Are a fucking repulsive. You're this and that. Abdicate your ass the fuck away from her. And that's what she did to a melanin. This is a Jew boy. This is a Jew boy also. But this one looks more like a Jew boy and a Canaanite. He looks like a Canaanite. And that's a Jew boy. I'm going to say this is a Canaanite. I want to say, this is a Jew boy too, you know, because they all mix and match, they call themselves Indos, you know. But I want to say, this is a Jephite because of the Catholics. So now, she could be an Ammonite or a Mobite. But she is no longer Melanin. She's hanging out with a Jew, a Canaanite, and a Jephite. Wow. And they have the band telekinesis. And the mind shit is coming from her. A female, a wicked female can be more devious than a wicked male. When a male plays around 
you can kind of catch his ass, you know. But when a female plays a role, she actually knows how to play. You will not know she's playing a role. You will have to have someone who knows you and her, and they're closer to you than they are to have uh, them to come and let you know. Hey, the little nasty bitch you have, I call her a nasty bitch, because she's playing around on you. And I used to tell my friends, the females, they want to play around on their male friend. Don't take me with you because I will tell. You damn bread, I will do a Leviticus 5 and 1 in a minute. Call me a snitch if you want to. I have stitches. I have many stitches over my body. I have a stitch. I have stitches in both my arms. I have a stitch on my left jaw, under my left eye, and I also have stitches under my navel where I have hernia surgery. See, snitches do get stitches. The only snitch that never gets a stitch is a teacher. Teachers are the biggest snitches. See, you send your child to this fucking teacher, and the teacher can uh, irritate your child, you know, and make your child not like her because she does not like your teacher anyway. I mean, the teacher does not like your child anyway. And the least little thing that you will do, and please don't whoop your child, because the teachers are commanded, as the word Kanish says, it is. A command or summon, they are summoned and they are also commanded to tell to call CPS, DCF, whoever the fuck they are in your town, to call these trilateral motherfuckers to take your baby away. See, but as teacher, never get stitches, never. Teachers get away with calling on you, and you are not sending your damn children to their schools any motherfucking way. And then there are those that say, um, then there are those that are telling me now that uh, the schools are going to start teaching Satanism. I look at them and laugh. You know, I have no feelings about that. You know, it's like, I don't give a fuck. You ain't supposed to be sending your baby anyway. Even a pink motherfucker should not send his baby to a public school. If you are a Christian, you need to read the book. Because it says you are to teach your children and your children's children. Did not say send them to school and let some foreigner or a stranger teach your children. You are supposed to teach your children. Now, this video... It has a picture on it. And I want you to be able to see the picture. I wonder if it still has two. Yep. See that picture? I went across something that said a hundred years. I said I know something about a family that has been fucking my family for over a hundred years. It is them and I'm about to talk about them. And I'm kind of glad that the little um, uh, Mexican sister called my daughter out so now I can be free to do the video on these little motherfuckers they grow up and I also want to show you something see see how that has two views the other one has three but normally when I go back to my videos there's always two 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 then the next day another one will come you know like make it three but there was a time I only had two 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 and I say that is um, Zay and Carmel, also known as Delia Hackerson. Hankerson, but she hacked some people's name. And uh, they probably didn't even watch it. I think they just turned it on because they saw these pink children who rule over my family with mind control. Now, this video is 24 minutes in, and I'm going to come back with who? They really are. Shit talker, let he vote.